new season of uh, Euphoria had a giant premiere on Sunday. Uh, now you're on the show Euphoria, which is a big hit in your character. Uh, it's a huge hit, and uh, congratulations. Uh, it's become a, a huge, huge hit. First of all, you're starting the biggest show on TV, Euphoria. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. How did it happen? What really made Euphoria what it has become? The first season of Euphoria revolves around Rue Bennett our main character, played by Zendaya. Rue is a 17-year-old teenager who is struggling with mental disorders and her drug addiction. While in the initial episodes of Euphoria it may seem her addiction is just for getting high, but in the later episodes of the show, it's more into the deep analyzation of how she really started taking drugs to cope up with her father's death and mental disorders, but now really wants to quit and being incapable of doing so. We also see how her drug addiction affects her relationships and her choices in life. It's pretty simple storyline which doesn't seem new. Euphoria's success is not behind these simple storylines, but in the ways of how the storyline is presented. In the first couple of episodes, what seems to be a just another teen drama show, Euphoria unfolds itself to vast storylines and characters with their respective in-depth traumas and flaws. Its real life like approach to general teenage problems like drugs, sex and violence is what makes it so good. Euphoria's presentation of an addict isn't like any other we've seen so far. Zendaya's performance in the series is one of the most powerful performances any teenage drama has been able to put out. No wonder she has won an Emmy for her performance in Euphoria. And so many people are already convinced that Zendaya is gonna win this year's Emmy too. All because of this scene. Don't stop doing This scene specifically shows not only the capabilities of Zendaya as an actress, but the amazing other actresses and actors too. How Sam Levinson has managed to make a scene so emotionally powerful with his direction and camera work that it's almost hard to tell that it's not happening in real life. Zendaya's portrayal of Rue feels so natural and easy. It's commendable how Zendaya's range of emotional and powerful scenes are as good as her comical bits in the show. From sad to happy, angry to funny. Every frame Zendaya is in it makes you feel things. Zendaya's acting skills are backed up by many talented actresses and actors. Fesco played by Angus Cloud is a drug dealer and Rue's friend in the show. The portrayal of Fez in the most of the series is a poker face character, which makes it very difficult to portray the character. Angus Cloud's take on Fez is a charmingly calm persona. He portrays what the character is going through very brilliantly while keeping a calm and straight face and body language. Lexi Howard, played by Mode Apatow, is a shy and introverted character, and Mode Apatow has nailed the character. One minute into the screen and you know just what kind of character she is playing, even without the context. Her uncomfortable and awkward facial expressions put so much life into the character. The way she transformed her character into a boss at the end of the season 2 was exceptional. Now let's talk about some issues. Family Issues Rue's mother, Leslie Bennett, is played by Nika King in the show. She played the character very well, be it in the fight scene with her daughter or in general dialogue exchange. Gia Bennett, played by Storm Reid, is Rue's younger sister in the show. Tom made the character so believable. It's hard to imagine the famous fight scene between the family even if one of the actresses were less than other. And for Storm to hold her ground in between two of the such established actresses in such a young age is an achievement for herself. The serious approach to the teen life problems can be sometimes hard to watch if not presented in a manner. Sam Levinson who directed all of the season 2 episodes and 5 of the season 1 episodes dealt with the graphic subjects with artistic vision. The musical hallucination created right after Rue relapses after a heartbreak is a relief to the eyes and ears. Sam Levinson has also written all of the episodes and his way of approaching even the simplest storyline is very cinematic. The amount of artistic vision he has poured in the series is astonishing. There is a montage in season 2 where Rue and her love interest Jules played by Hunter Schaeffer are creating out scenes from different movies and famous paintings. Now that montage is not connected directly into the storyline. But the thought that Sam Levinson and his team has put out is amazing. There is a moment where they create a scene from the movie Brokeback Mountain which is a movie about two gay cowboys whom are unable to execute their love for each other. 
द मोन्टेज इज डन सो ब्यूटिफुली दैट आई पर्सनली कैन गेट इन अफ इट देर इज ए स्पेसिफिक सीन वेयर रू इज टेलीपोर्टेड इन टू द चर्च आफ्टर ऑल द गिल्ट एंड पेन इन साइड हर इज जस्ट फीलिंग अप फ्रॉम बींग द वे शी इज द हलूसिनेशन इज प्रजेंटेड सो क्रिएटिवली विद सम ऑफ द बेस्ट म्यूजिक अकंपनिंग इट विच विल टॉक अबाउट लेटर द सीन इज जस्ट प्योर सिनेमेटिक गोल्ड एक्सप्लेनिंग एवरी थिंग वट समबडी इज गोइंग थ्रू विदाउट इवन सींग अ वर्ड इट्स स्टोरी टेलिंग एट इट्स फाइनेस्ट फॉर्म सैम लेविनसन रोट ऑल ऑफ द एपिसोड एंड ही इज ऑल्सो ए फॉर्मर एडिक्ट नो बडी कुड हैव पोर्ट्रेड द बिहाइंड द सीन्स ऑफ एन एडिक्ट बेटर दैन हिम so realistic and so cinematic at the same time euphoria is one of the most good looking shows every frame and shot is so well settled that it makes the hard to watch scenes easier on the eyes this is one of the shows that you pause at any moment and have a beautifully painted canvas in front of you as i stated earlier in the video that euphoria unfolds itself into vast story lines and subjects some of the subjects are darker look at human behavior The grittier subjects like mental health, sexuality and relationships can be a little tough to present on screen and making them look pretty can be even tougher. The cinematography of the show is exactly opposite from the subjects of the show. The shots of the show are almost fantasy like unlike the real life topics of the show. The cinematography is done by a number of people on the show. Marcel Reeve, Andre Shametov, Drew Daniels, Adam Newport, Barra and Raina Yang. They all have done a fantastic job. giving us breathtakingly pretty visuals even at the darkest moment of the show the coloring scheme in the shots are stunning the way light and camera movements are used to enhance the storytelling is amazing the ambience of the shots help the audience connect with the story and the characters the way camera movements and lighting is used to express certain emotions of characters is just next level we hardly see the camera steady at one spot how camera movements is used to show the rush after using drugs while using lighting and colors is extraordinary the cinematographers of the show expressed everything from sexual tension to sadness while being stunning at the same time the show itself is made up of this precious poetic pieces from acting direction cinematography and music everything came so good together for the end product the music by labyrinth is one of the highlights of the show it just takes a couple of seconds for labyrinth to come in a scene and take the lead with his sounds the music used distorted sounds and gospel as inspiration the score made some of the scenes alive and ambient the beautiful vocals provided by labyrinth in the songs like formula and still don't know my name were insane every time the beat drops for one of these songs the scenes felt 10 times more emotive and rich the music made the series more exciting and satisfying to watch the use of the music at times was extraordinary where there is no dialogues and activity just the great acting direction cinematography and the feel alive music it makes up for the best cinema the range of the music was so wide it felt like labyrinth had a masterpiece up in its sleeves for every episode most of the shows just have like a couple of songs but euphoria's music list was just filled with so many great numbers that it's hard to keep count The music was emotionally moving and uplifting when it needed to be. The compositions made the shots more grand and easy to connect with. Now let's just have a look at what the internet says about Euphoria. DR says this show brought me back to when I was in high school navigating life. The series is what high school looks like and I am glad they are showing the truth and not sugar coating it. As much as I want to say that the series looks like what high school is I still can't say it. the series definitely covers a whole lot of space from high school life but still this is not exactly what high school life looks like some of the plots like drugs and nudes are a good representation of high school life ms retro says one of the most realistic portrayals of someone living with ocd i have ever seen zendaya hands down has quickly become my new favorite actress zendaya definitely did a great job portraying the drug addict but i think a lot of it had to do with sam levinson he definitely handled the character very well because of his past he exactly knew in which lead he had to take the character zendaya's performance is definitely cherry on top andy zhang says it feels so wild because it's like a teen drama but half as corny and twice as profound they really brought world class talent into every department of the team including writers this show is definitely way less corny than any other teen dramas out there and it was profound in dealing with certain subjects and in portraying the consequences of actions ari jean says 
I love that no character is perfect. They all have their flaws and do things that we don't agree with. Everyone can relate to at least one character. The characters are definitely a big part of all the closer to reality theme. Everyone is flawed in their own ways and everyone is being acknowledged of the flaws within the show by other characters. Rafi Domingo says, I think my favorite scene has to be where Rue was just screaming at Faz's door, cursing him out and telling him to fix her because he ruined her life. And you could really see that he wanted to open it but still didn't because that was the only way he could help her. Breaks my heart every time. There are lot of well written and well acted scenes in the show. But something about times when Rue is having an outburst is just whole other amount of emotions put on screen. The ambience gets quieter and numb watching the world class artistry that Zendaya and Sam put together into outbursts of Rue. Euphoria was HBO's second most watched show since 2004 behind only Game of Thrones. There have been 34 million tweets since Euphoria returned in January, making it the most tweeted show of the decade in the US. And honestly, it deserves all the hype it's gotten. While there is still might be problems with the show, it is still a greatly executed show with some of the best work in acting, direction, cinematography and music. The psychology of the show is the real life psychology of teenagers. It is a great opportunity for adults to dive in the life of teenagers and understand them.